In this video, I'll be showing you how to access Photoshop's generative AI fill. Now, this is the normal Photoshop and it is currently not available. Now, a generative fill is basically using Adobe's Firefly project, the new AI, which is used to generate and basically put some creative spark into Photoshop editing. So I'm going to show you how to access it. So first things first, you need to have Creative Cloud installed. And what you'd need is to have an account. Now, this could be a free account. Now, as you can see, my Photoshop version is not the latest. However, what you need to look for is on the left pane, you need to look for beta apps. Now, Generative Fill is only available in Photoshop beta for now. So you could try it and this will allow you to try it for seven days free. So this is the method that we'll be using in today's video. So let's click on try and wait for it to load. Now, once it has loaded, it will ask you to insert your payment information. Now, please go back and remove your information before the seven days is up. So once you've inputted your information, as you can see, our trial has started successfully. Now let's close out of that and it will begin to install. Now the installation process is all dependent on how fast your internet connection is. Mine took about 30 minutes, there about or less. So please keep that in mind. Now, once the installation is finished, you could go ahead and open Photoshop beta and give it a few seconds to load. It will automatically greet you to the generative fill because this is a new feature. So, you know, it will be on the front page of whichever application the feature is in. So it is currently loading. All right. So as you can see, generative fill is here and we're going to try it out for a few seconds all you'd need to do is to generate prompts or write prompts for it to follow so let's use a canvas here the generative fill option is here as well and let's click off this and let's just insert a prompt so this is just a quick tutorial as to how to get it i will obviously have more videos as to how to use this feature um, even though there are quite a lot of tutorials out there, but I'll have one of my own. So we're going to just generate a city here. And that's basically it. Please leave a like on this video if this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Hacker777 out.